Well, racial tensions have been high across the country in the aftermath of several high profile shootings. As a result, members of Congress have created a bipartisan group to address gun violence, racial profiling, and the relationship between police officers and the black community. Representative Keith Ellison is a member of that group. And last week, I sat down and talked to him about race. Congressman, why is it so difficult to have conversations about race? Well, I think the reason it's so difficult to have conversations about race is because it's so wound up in issues of blame and shame. But I believe whatever can be faced can be fixed. And if we will confront this, we'll be better off. Why did you want to be a part of the, those discussions? My whole life, I've always wanted to be part of the solution. You know, I know that, you know, police officers join the force to help people. They're there because they are outraged by people who are victims of crime. They, they want to be there to help people. And yet we also know that there are a lot of negative interactions between police and citizens. And oftentimes these things are racialized. Everyone knows that, there, that there's, there's this problem. And um, it's been around since before Rodney King. And it's around now. The question is, what are we going to do about it? But you can't, you can't legislate kindness and understanding. What can you do? Legislate rules that people must follow. So, for example, before 1964, you couldn't make somebody love African American shoppers, but you could make those same shop owners um, uh, allow African American shoppers to consume products on the same basis as everyone else. We'll leave the condition of the heart up to the faith community and up to individuals. But in terms of the rules of people being treated fairly and equally, the law has a lot to say about that. And uh, we have to step up and do it. Now coming up in our next half hour, you'll hear what Representative Ellison has to say about solutions, his ideas on improving police training and screening, and what the community can do to help as well. Ellison is headed to Philadelphia to attend the Democratic National Convention as one of Minnesota's super delegates.